Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin. The term retinoids is collectively used to represent natural forms of vitamin A that are obtained from animal sources. Retinoids can be retinol, retinal or retinoic acid. Apart from these, there is an inactive form called beta-carotenes that is obtained from plant foods. Beta-carotenes give rise to two molecules of retinol when it is broken down in our intestines. Now coming to the absorption and transport of vitamin A. Any compounds of vitamin A like retinyl esters that we consume in our diet are hydrolyzed into retinol by intestinal brush borders releasing free fatty acid. While beta carotenes are absorbed as it is and are hydrolyzed inside the intestinal cells releasing retinol which is then reduced to retinol. Retinol is re-esterified to long chain fatty acids in inside the intestinal mucosa. These retinal esters are secreted into lymphatic system as a component of chylomicrons. For those of you who are not familiar with the term chylomicron, the lipids that are resynthesized in intestinal cells, for example these retinal esters, these are hydrophobic in nature and they aggregate in aqueous environment. Therefore, they are packaged as lipid droplets surrounded by a thin layer of apolipoproteins and phospholipids. This layer stabilizes the droplets and increases its solubility. These particles are known as chylomicrons. The retinal esters contained in chylomicrons are taken up by liver and stored as retinal palmitate. On body's demand, vitamin A is released from liver as free retinol. Retinol is transported to extrahepatic tissue by plasma retinol binding protein. This retinol retinol binding protein complex attaches to specific receptors on the cellular surface of target tissue permitting retinol entry into the cell. Inside the cell, retinol stimulate gene activation and control the production of specific proteins for several physiological functions. The most important function of vitamin A is vision. For vision, the active component is 11 cis retinal, which is an aldehyde form of vitamin A. Vitamin A is also important in reproduction as it is essential in maintenance of germinal epithelium in males. It also promotes growth and bone development in children. Vitamin A is also essential for maintenance and differentiation of epithelial tissues and for mucus secretion. Now coming back to the role of vitamin A in vision. Rhodopsin, which is a visual pigment of rod cells in retina, consists of 11 cis retinal and a protein opsin. When eye is exposed to light, the 11 cis retinal component of rhodopsin is isomerized to all trans retinal. This conversion leads to a structural change in opsin, which triggers a nerve impulse that is transmitted along the optic nerve to brain. This dissociation of retinal and opsin degenerate the rhodopsin pigment resulting in decreased sensitivity of rod cells to bright light which allows cone cells to mediate vision in bright environment. While in the darkness, the all trans retinal molecule is recycled to regenerate rhodopsin pigment for dark adaptation. Regeneration of rhodopsin requires reduction of all trans retinal to all trans retinol which then isomerize into 11 cis retinol and 11 cis retinol finally gets converted into 11 cis retinal by oxidation.
This is called Wald's visual cycle. The importance of this visual cycle is that one of the earliest signs of vitamin A deficiency is night blindness. And prolonged deficiency of vitamin A can also lead to irreversible loss of number of rod cells. Other deficiency manifestations of vitamin A include rough and dry skin. Severe vitamin A deficiency leads to xerophthalmia, which is a pathological dryness of conjunctiva and cornea. Untreated cases of xerophthalmia can result in corneal ulceration and ultimately blindness because of the formation of opaque scar. And vitamin A deficiency also result in decreased growth rate in children. Vitamin A deficiency results in sterility in male because of degeneration of germinal epithelium. As a therapeutic agent, vitamin A is used to treat dermatological problems such as acne and skin aging. These are treated with topical application of isotretinoins which are 13 cis retinoic acids. The drug isotretinoin is actually teratogenic, so pregnancy must be ex excluded before initiation of treatment in women with childbearing age.